Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I want to show you how to get my loot filters. And also I'm going to give you some additional tips how to make your own filters using filter blade. Uh, so a lot of people actually like my filter mostly because of these sounds. And in case you don't know, these sounds are from Heroes of Might and Magic 3, which uh, I made this speed filter, I would say, around two years ago. And I have been using it since and just constantly update it. So it is actually a pretty nice one. So here, let me show you a preview of all of the sounds. So here it is. And to get it, it is actually uh, pretty simple. First of all, you have to go to my Discord and I'm going to link it in the description. Then you just go to channel, loot filters, and you have to download every single one of these sounds. These are very important because uh, obviously you need them for your filter to work. And then here I have uh, multiple versions of a filter. And in case you are wondering, these are for Lake of Calandra. And for the next leak, which is going to be Forbidden Sanctum, I am going to update all of the filters and put them in here. And most of the time I do it like one or two hours before the leak start, because that's usually uh, when filter blade is updated. So that's when I update my filters. So if you want uh, the new versions of filter, just wait pretty much until the start of the leak. And they are going to be updated in here. I'm going to uh, notify everyone in my Discord. So again, you go in here, you download all of the sounds, and you download which filter you want. So I have usually three versions, one just for leveling, one early mapping, one end game mapping. Sometimes I have uh, more uh, in here. So you just download all of them, and then you just go to the uh, this folder. So you just in your documents, games, pop of exile. In here, you want to put all of the sounds and all of the filters. They have to be in this folder. Don't create any like a new folder or anything. Here I have a lot of like all the sounds that I'm not using for my filter, so these don't matter. Uh, but yeah, you just want to have all of the sounds and filters in this folder together. And that's basically it. Then you just go to your game and go to your to, uh, in here and all of them are going to be in here and they're going to work. And that's basically it. But if you want some additional tips, maybe you want to use these sounds for your filters. Uh, let me actually show you a few things you can do. So the way I like to do my filters and how they are made, usually first thing is I choose the strictness. This is going to just give me a rough idea of what kind of filter I want. So for like a leveling, I would just use something like this, maybe for early mapping this one or this one, and for uh, like end game mapping, something like in here. And here you can see the preview what kind of things you're going to see, what kind of things you're not going to see. Let's say we want to have like a, a kind of medium uh, strictness. So you see alterations still are showing up, chromes are not, and transmutations are not showing up. Uh, then you just go to customize and here you can just change a few things just uh, for yourself. If you want uh, some things to be shown a little bit differently. Maybe you want Orpus of Fusing to be actually showed as a yellow items. So it is actually very simple to change. You just go in here and drag it. And it is actually going to show you what you changed. It's very simple. Or maybe you want uh, all of alterations and all of these shards and these things to actually not show up, but Fusings you want to show up. So you will do the same thing. You would have drag it here and this you're just going to hide, and it is actually not going to hide it anymore. Or you can do it other way. You can uh, keep fusing in here, but drag everything to the category below, and it is not going to be shown. So you can play with it. You can also, obviously here you can see, you can change the, uh, like the text, uh, you can change the color, and so on. You can do a lot of uh, changes in here. And you can do it for pretty much every currency, things like a divination card. So like I said, usually I just, choose uh, strictness, whatever I want, uh, just as a base. And then I go in here and myself, I change a few things. For example, I pretty much always, doesn't matter which filter I use, I always want every single map to show up. So I would go in here and if any of them are actually not shown, I would uh, change it. So for example, I think if you go for Uber strictness and then you go to maps, yeah, now some of them are not going to show up. So I would go in here and I would show them again. And yeah, you just go through every category and make sure it is showing what you want to show. 
So now let's talk about the sounds. So how to uh, basically import my sounds or implement my sounds into your filters. So what you want to do is there are basically two ways to do it. First way, which is a more tedious way, you can go in here and you go to the sound and here you change it to the custom and here you type the file name. So for example, let's say for this one, uh, you would want uh, this sound, so like tier one currency. So we'll just copy the name. Oh, I guess I can't uh, do it in here. Let me do it from the uh, folder. So it is this one. You just copy and make sure you also uh, take this and you put it in here and it is going to work uh, this way now. But obviously it is very annoying to do it everywhere. So there is actually a better way to do it. Uh, let me go back to the sound tool. Uh, the better way to do it is to go to the style. And this is basically to mass change certain things. So in here, you can just change for all of the, these items, all of these items and so on. You can change this to custom and type it in here. And it is going to change. So that, just to show you, I'm going to change everything to the same thing right now. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do it this way, but this is just an example. And now when you're going to go to over, uh, customize, literally everything is going to be uh, tier one currency noise. So that's how it works. So here I actually have uh, my uh, filter saved. Mm. So here it is, and you're going to see in the styles, all of them are set this way. So if you have any of your own filter, you want to make like your own rules and so on, uh, you customize your uh, own way. And if you want to just uh, implement my sounds into your filter, just go in here and put it in this order. So um, you can pause the video right now and basically copy all of these uh, uh, names in here and it is going to work. Obviously, you might change it uh, a little bit. Maybe this you want to actually sound the same as this and so on. Or you can also later customize it a little bit in here. Maybe you actually want uh, this to be sound not as a tier two currency, but as actually tier one or tier zero. Like you can do small changes, but this is basically a rough idea. And then you just uh, save it and you want to download it and you do what I uh, told you earlier, just put it in the folder with your other files. And again, you have to remember that the sounds have to be in the same file. And that's basically it. I uh, hope it helps you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.